John from Hudson again here. I'm introducing the 55H winch. We have a lot of calls on setting these winches up when people purchase them. These are a very handy winch because you don't have to walk in and out with the cable every time you make a hitch. So to get started, you're going to get your kit. The main setup, like I said, is the same. In your operator's manual tool, first thing you want to open, pull out your manual if you can and read it about the winch. First thing we got to do is get power from the tractor to the winch. And this is where a lot of people have trouble. These plugins are sent with the winch. We have a wiring schematic that comes with it as well. In this schematic, it shows you how to wire this up. So your positive terminal is always going to go to the center of the plug-in, and your negative one is always going to go at the 3-31 slot. And you'll see it marked on here, and it's also marked in here on the plug-in. So you've got to get a hot wire coming from your battery or your other plug-in off the tractor to the center of this and you hook your negative terminal down on this corner. So I always call that as you're looking at it from the front. If you get me on the phone with a question, I'm going to ask you where your wires are. And if you're looking at it like this, positive should be on your center pin, negative should be on your 4 o'clock position. That's the easiest way to explain it. So if you have it reversed, when you wire it, it's going to be 7 o'clock in center. 7 would be your negative, center is always positive. Okay. Very well. This rubber gasket goes on there and that seals up your winch or your connections. Now we've mounted it on this tractor already. This is a Kubota. So I can come around here and show you where we mounted it. Right here we pulled power out of the tractor. We've got this mounted on a little bracket we put here. You can mount it wherever it's comfortable for you on the tractor. But that's going to be your plug-in for the winch. If your tractor comes with a plug-in it may look like this, and that plug-in will go into it, but it will not work. So do not try and use it that way. Okay, you've got to get it wired correctly. If you want to change the wires on your previously wired plug-in that comes with your tractor, you can go ahead and do that. But most of those tractors are wired up with them plug-ins to run implements, not this winch. So there's the difference. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to give me a call, and I'll be glad to explain the difference again to you. So in the meantime, we're going to move forward. We've got our plug-in wired up. Next step, we're going to mount our box. Now your kit comes, if you want to come over here, we've got a charger that comes with it. And this here is a European charger. So it comes with an accessory plug-in that plugs right into that. So you can plug it into the American Standard plug-in. And this end here comes with it. And that plugs into your charger or your remote unit. Now on the remote unit, you've got switches. Here's your stop. You can see the light flashing. That's on, that's off. This one here is your winch out. This one here is your winch in. This button here is your bump button. Okay, we'll talk about that later. To charge this, when you first get it, pull that cap off and plug this in. Simple as that, and plug that into the wall. Normally, it takes 14 hours to charge this fully. So if you're going to use it for a full day, Make sure you get it fully charged the night before. So if you plan on using it tomorrow, plug it in tonight and you'll be all set. Next thing that comes with the kit is a belt, which actually holds this. You put that in there, that goes around your waist for when you're working in the woods. And then we've got the actual receiver unit. Now this unit here, you mount on the tractor in the cab or outside the cab or on the winch, whichever you prefer. The safest place would be in the cab or on the back of the tractor where I'm going to show you where we're going to mount it. So that way it'll always be with the tractor when you want to use it. You just plug this into your winch and you're good to go. So I'll show you where we're going to mount it. Right here on this tractor we got a bar on the back. There's slots on the frame of this. And slide it right up in that slot there and tighten up the bolts and then we put another bolt over here and tighten it up. And then it would be mounted right on there. So you want to tighten this up quick, Craig? Go ahead. Okay, it's mounted on the tractor. We're doing this for the video, so we're not putting in the other bolt quick. Now you've got your gray cord coming off of here. This gray cord does not plug into your tractor. It will go into that plug-in, but it does not go there. The orange cord that is mounted to the winch here, as you can see, comes out of this plug-in. So this is your power plug for the winch. So this is where we get power out of the tractor, and we plug that into here.
and that locks right over the top and that holds it in just like a regular trailer hitch. So now we've got power from the tractor to the winch. Nothing on the winch will work yet because we started up anything. But this is your power to the winch. So now we want to get power to our remote control box. So we plug this plug in into here. And these are slotted so they only go in one way. Just like that. Then we coil our wires up, put them on your third hitch bracket is a good place to keep them. It keeps them out of your PTO. Quick zip tie on there and they'll stay there in the woods. Okay. <laughs> so now we're ready to run the winch with the remote control. And set up like this, we can actually run it and do a quick test even without the tractor running. And what we're looking for to do this is you'll look on this gauge back here and you're going to see that gauge has pressure in it. So that's going to be up to about 100 bar on there. It should be 100 or a little bit more. That's fine. That's factory setting. So we're going to turn our switch on. We've got connection there. We've got power there. We turn on our remote box. It has a switch up here. You should see the green light in there. You see the green light? Oh, we didn't have the key on for the tractor. Hold on a second. We got light now, don't we? Yes, sir. We got to turn the tractor. Make sure your tractor power's on. We got this wired in so when you shut the master key off on the tractor, it shuts off all the power. A lot of guys wire them up so that they are hot all the time, which doesn't really matter as long as you unplug it. And if you want to leave it plugged in overnight, it does not take a draw. Just shut your box off up here, and that shuts off all your power. You leave that on overnight, you could draw your tractor battery down just because it's putting a draw into the winch. Okay, now that we've got everything hooked up and wired properly, we're going to take the winch outside and we're going to do the proper setup on the tension for the cable and exercise the remote controls. <laughs> 